Hey guys, Chef Anita here, just prepping up some dinner at home for this evening. Now, as I mentioned earlier today, this chef is very excited. Her baby boy, Adrian Lestat, is home for a visit. Yes, true, the man is almost 30 years old, but he's still my baby boy, and I'm so excited, so I decided to do a very special dinner for this evening. We are going to be making some fried chicken with some coleslaw and mac and cheese. That's right, guys. So right now, as you can hear, they're in the background uh, just making fun of me as I make this video, especially Adrian, because he's never heard me do this. So it's cool. Whatever. Mom's a dork. It's all right. But this is my spice blend for the uh, breading for the actual chicken. And what I have here is uh, some um, basil and oregano. I have coriander, cayenne pepper, paprika, a little smoky paprika, some white pepper, onion powder, and salt, and I also wanted to add a little bit of chili powder as well. This is going to be a really nice blend. It's going to create a lot of flavor that's going to complement the actual marinade, which my chicken has been sitting in for the last few hours and will continue to sit here until I decide to fry it up. Now, this is actually a buttermilk marinade with uh, Frank's hot sauce. Now that is all that is in there. Now when I got home today, I was so upset, I forgot the buttermilk and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this in the marinade. And then I remembered, yeah, you can make your own buttermilk. And that's gonna be the pro tip for today. I'll let you guys know how, you, how to do that. So this is just um, cream and some vinegar to make that buttermilk. And it's gonna get uh, just mixed after a couple of minutes of uh, sitting together with some of that uh, Frank's hot sauce put the chicken in there and then that's going to get strained out of there and into the flour mix. So now these spices are going to get three cups of uh, all-purpose flour, which we have here, and it's going to get a quarter cup of cornstarch. That's going to give it a really nice crispy texture. That is what we're going for. And it's going to get fried with some canola oil at 350 degrees for about I would say 14, 15 minutes until it reaches the proper temperature, which is about 162 degrees. So then uh, for the coleslaw, I'm just going to chop in my food processor or your Roboku, whatever you may want to call it, some uh, white cabbage. And then I also have some purple cabbage somewhere in my fridge behind all my private event stuff for tomorrow, which I'm just going to blend all together with these cute little carrots that Naya loves to have around just to snack on. So I'm just going to throw those in there with it and a little bit of green onion. I'm going to make a quick little dressing with some apple cider vinegar and some spices. And that's going to be it. The, um, the actual mac and cheese, I'm going to be uh, boiling up some oriquete and it's going to get uh, dressed with um, my sauce which will have two different kinds of cheeses in it let me so i actually have a monterey jack and also the tillamook sharp cheddar which i cannot say to save my life i'm bilingual what can i tell you so those two i'm just going to go on ahead and grate those in with a box grater and those are going to get married in there with a little bit of cream. I'm going to try and keep the dairy down to just the cream. I don't like to put a lot of butter into it because I find that once I fire that up, it tends to want to break the sauce. So we're just going to do a little cream with my roux, uh, which I actually do with half and half corto olive oil. Uh, I'm going to be using the lapadella for that and um, half butter as well. Um, so then I'm going to make the roux, add my cream, then marry everything with some cheese, and that'll be that. So you guys want to come back because I have a lot going on here, and it's going to be a really exciting night of cooking. If I can get everything to work out the proper way, this mama duck has been up since four this morning, so it's a little hard to think right now. But I managed to get through this video, so that's good, and with minimal... Um, background noise from the kitties at home so yeah guys come back soon okay